Test, test. How we do in Boston? 3 p.m. Wiki conference, North America. How we feeling? Oh, yeah. I would like the energy in here. Okay, well, let's get it started. My name is Matt Hodeshemi, and this is Stephen Laporte. And today we will be presenting a lightning talk for you on Pace Track, which is a progress tracker for Wiki Project Improvement Drives. Uh, let's get it started. So, who here knows what Netathon is? I'm gonna see lots of hands, right? Who here's been at Edathon recently? Come on, Martha, you just told me, Somerville. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. Here's, here's what we know about Edathons. Uh, one, they've got a great immediate call to action, right? And uh, they're time limited. These are uh, the things that give Edathons such great energy. Um, but they're often in person, which can be a pro, um, and they are time limited, like I said above, which means that who here has ever missed an edit-a-thon because they're very short and scheduling sort of uh, intervenes? Missed an edit-a-thon? Regretted it? Yeah. I got edit-a-thon FOMO all the time. Who here uh, knows about wiki projects? Yeah? Who here participates in a wiki project? Who here has seen a wiki project sort of go dormant? Uh, pretty much everyone, I'm sure. If you've hit a talk page and you've seen a wiki project, you've gone to the page, you've seen that while they uh, are discoverable, because they're on pretty much every talk page um, for every article, basically, uh, and they're online, so you should be able to theoretically jump in, they're never really complete. So they sort of have this uh, unpredictable energy, you know? Um, the momentum isn't really clear. So Stephen and I, uh, together with Pete here in the audience, uh, you know, a couple of hackathons ag ago, came up with this idea of like, what if there was something in the middle combining all the best parts of an edit-a-thon with all the best parts of a wiki project. You know, a little bit of a peanut butter in your chocolate, you know, that sort of thing. So we came up with this idea of an improvement drive. They are task-oriented, completable editing campaigns which we can measure. Got some good words in there? Everyone liking the idea here? All right, so, uh, yeah, I'll let Steven talk about this one right here. Yeah, so this is not a new idea. There's all sorts of task-oriented, completable, measurable things happening out there. Uh, one that I really like here, one lib, one ref, uh, operates primarily on Twitter. Uh, they encourage people to try and add, uh, encourage librarians to add material, add references one at a time, and you end up creating sort of like a, a record as you go of the things that are being created because they encourage people to use the hashtag in each edit they make. So you sort of have this retroactive uh, retroactive list of all the articles that are being included inside of one lib, one ref. But what we're dealing with here is something slightly differently. What if we want to create something proactively that we want to work on? We want to create a work list that you can try and complete. That gives you a, like a goal to move towards. We all know that nonprofit fundraising thermometer enthusiasm that you get when you're really close to the finish line. You just kind of want to push it over and see what you can do. Yeah, so, uh, Basically, this sort of is that. And uh, so this map that you're looking at right here, um, this is a uh, USA-based newspapers with articles on Wikipedia. Green, uh, you know, sorry if you're for the colorblind out there, this is a screenshot. But uh, for the green, green means that there is an article, and uh, red means that there isn't an article. And so from this, you can see that there's still a lot of work to be done. But exactly how much work, you know, and how close are we getting? So what if that looked like this. So here we have the wiki site, Newspapers on Wikipedia 2018 Improvement Drive. And I'll let Stephen talk about this now. Yeah, so this is ultimately what we're creating with Pacetrack, is this sort of this progress bar that you get, and you can use your excitement and enthusiasm, your efforts that you're doing at an edit-a-thon to try and move that progress bar closer to the end. Uh, and this is the sort of overview of, of what it looks like. So this is really what you get when you put a, a project into Pacetrack. You get a set of articles here, and then you have a number of features or, uh, or, or metrics along the top. And you can actually see how far you are to completing some of those features. Uh, you know, it, does it exist on Wikidata? No, okay, if you create an item on Wikidata, you can turn that red box green and you're one step closer to completing this campaign. And that sort of, uh, that, that progress is what we're trying to drive with, uh, 
with the, the tool. So yeah, basically the way that this is implemented is through this tool called Pace Track. It's sort of like uh, you keep track of your project's pace, um, and it also is a little bit like a race track. So we have a little car metaphor going on. It sort of goes with the drive as well. You got the whole brand. All right, so you can uh, check it out on GitHub. There'll be a link at the end. Um, for now, here's what features we got. We've got nine metrics and growing, so we can check whether uh, a article exists on Wikipedia or Wikidata, that's two metrics. Um, you know, we can check whether it has an info box, it could be a specific info box. Um, we can do a uh, number of citations, so if you want to make sure that every article has at least ten citations, uh, as we did with uh, newspapers on Wikipedia. And we can also check for like whether an, a specific article is in a wiki project. So, and there are more as well. Um, we, at the moment, we do like updates sort of uh, on a scheduled basis. And these sorts of, uh, this sort of project doesn't like exactly proceed, uh, you know, at lightning pace. Uh, basically, we, you know, can check it every hour uh, if it's an edit-a-thon or every day if it's a wiki project. Um, but that's configurable. And coming soon, we're going to basically actually deploy this for more public consumption on ToolForge. Um, we're going to do uh, an improved article list construction. So the way that the original newspapers on Wikipedia list was created was that you would go make a Wikidata query and download the JSON associated with it because we wanted the state of that query at that time. We didn't want it changing out from underneath us for this version. But in the future, we'd like to do maybe a live Wikidata query. So as the you know uh, query grows, like we just sort of adjust the pace accordingly. Um, Right now, all the improvement targets are sort of absolute. So basically, we say like you have to have ten citations per. Uh, but you know, it'd be nice if we can, in future, just say, "Hey, I'd like to improve the total number of images by twenty percent across all these articles." Um, so yeah, we're going to work on in easy uh, configuration of drives. At the moment, it's through a GitHub PR and a YAML file. It's not super super hard uh, if you're a little bit technical. That was sort of our target audience launching, but in future, we want it to be really accessible for all sorts of organizers. And we also want to work on like a discovery page so you can see all the drives that are happening. That would mean uh, almost like a Kickstarter, but for your wiki project, right? You can basically say, hey, I'm really passionate about getting my citation count or my info box count to 100% of these articles. And, uh, you know, your passion can become another editor's passion with really directed, task-oriented, uh, you know, improvement drives. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, thank you, specifically thanks to Pete. Uh, for uh, helping us out of that first hackathon. We're looking forward to working with him some more. And Alex Stinson, who's sort of like helping to drive the concept of an improvement campaign as well. Uh, you can check out these uh, URLs, you know, and uh, for more Hatnote projects, you can check out hatnote.com or follow us on Twitter at hatnote, H-A-T-N-O-T-E. Sure, take a picture. All righty, but in the meantime, thank you very much. Setting on the newspaper project that people are interested at four o'clock. Yeah, yeah four o'clock today. Pete's got uh, you know an update on the whole newspaper project. It's pretty cool. Check it out. So um, we have a, a because this is a lightning session. We can maybe have some questions at the end if there's time after the next talk. Yeah. Okay.